second part of our workout. It's gonna be a little faster pace. We're only doing four exercises. And we're gonna do some push-ups in this. Before I start, I wanna talk a little more, more about our modified push-ups. Uh, for um, We've worked on these, but I really wanna emphasize this so we can continue to improve our push-ups as we go along with these workouts at home. So obviously, our regular push-up is a nice straight line, heels the head, and I wanna pick out a spot a couple feet ahead of me here, and I'm tight my hips, I'm tight my belly, and down, ideally touch my chest. If I can't lower myself down to that point, I'm gonna use a knee. I keep my feet planted in the ground, and one knee is gonna to touch the ground, but the other one's off, and I alternate my legs. If I can't even lower myself, let's say I can only lower myself down to there, I can again touch my knee and bump it up in just as much weight as I can. If I can lower down, then I knee bump up. But watch, my feet don't move, and it looks a lot like a regular push-up. So make sure we work on our push-up form as we go along. This workout is gonna be one exercise to the next, and we're gonna rest between sets. We're gonna do six squats. We'll do three squat jumps, 10 push-ups, and then we'll bear crawl for a distance. Our squats are gonna be fast, one per second. Still, we're trying to get our hips below our knees and we'll do six. So I'm trying to be quick. And then three squat jumps. Jump as high as you can. And then our push-ups, we're gonna do 10. Modify if you have to and then we'll go right into a bear crawl. Now I'm not gonna go very far back. I'm gonna go up and back because I don't have enough room. If you do have room, try to go 10 yards or 10 meters forward and back. And then we'll take a little rest, give yourself about a minute, and we'll go through that three times. And good job.